What's red and sweet and ready to eat in the Garden State right now? Strawberries. The berries taste so sweet. Mm. I'm bringing them to friends, and now people are like, like looking for me. They're like, I need more. Rutgers University students have been working to create varieties of the fruit that will grow best in New Jersey's climate and soil while enhancing the flavor genes. So we're growing specific strawberry varieties to help small farmers get more production, tastier ber berries, and a bigger overall yield. So we're taking the best characteristics from one strawberry and trying to incorporate it into another one. Strawberries are very weather dependent. Thanks to an abundance of sunny days this spring, the berries are perfectly sweet. This is a Rutgers Scarlet right here. Okay. And Rutgers Scarlet is the one that we released in 2017. Yeah. As you can see, it's oh, red right. all the way through. Mm -hmm. And that's really what gives it the flavor. New Jersey strawberries are ripe all the way through before picking. The bushels are never shipped. Small farmers sell direct to consumers so the berries should be eaten in a day or two. There are 167 strawberry farmers in New Jersey that produce 4 million pounds of berries worth more than 12 million dollars statewide, according to the National Agriculture Statistics Service. Tim Von Thun's family started their wow. farm in 1913 in Monmouth Junction. He says strawberries start the summer produce season and mean big business. As soon as we put those pick your own strawberry banners out, people start rolling in. Mm -hmm. um, and so it really does increase foot traffic here on the farm. People come on in. Once they start buying the berries, they'll stop in our greenhouse or our farm market and uh, purchase other, um, other products here at the farm. Strawberry season starts in mid May and will run through the end of June. In Monmouth Junction, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.